On this Tuesday, Tuesday, I am getting down and dirty and we're gonna clean the air fryer. I have to be honest, I've had this air fryer a year and about, I would say probably about six months in, I did clean it, but then I haven't cleaned it since. And I probably really, after looking inside of it on the top, I probably should really wipe it down every time I cook, but I don't. Because we're gonna be real here. That's one thing on this channel is we're real. So I'm giving you the real look, and I know some people are like, I don't do that. I know there's some people out there like, I get you. I'm in the same boat and I do the same thing. So today I was just thinking, I'm gonna clean my air fryer. And then I thought, you know what? This would be a good two cent Tuesday because y'all might, these are the things that I learned when I researched that six months ago. All right, let's, let's, let's get in here and get dirty. Now, the biggest thing, the first thing you want to do is you're gonna wanna unplug the air fryer if it's plugged up. And if you had used it, you want it to cool down completely because you don't wanna burn yourself. Now, I clean this every time. I love my dishwasher, but I hardly ever put my air fryer pan in the dishwasher because it is so easy to clean. Now, after you've unplugged and let it cool down, the easiest way to get to this is to flip this baby upside down. And yeah, it's, it, 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 it's gross in there. It's, it's really gross and I'm embarrassed but we're here and we're gonna not let it do this again. Right, right, I need to tell myself that, right? Now, if you haven't watched it yet, I did a video about how much I love Dawn Power Wash. This is what we're gonna use to clean the inside of this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna spray this on and let it sit for probably 10 or 15 minutes before we get ready to wipe it out. Now that the Power Wash has done its job, all we're gonna need is a damp rag and a toothbrush. Just go get it out of your husband's drawer. It's okay. No, don't go do that. No, yeah. This is, I have a, I have an actual toothbrush that I keep in my cleaning section that I use all the time for tedious little things. So don't go steal it out of your husband's drawer. He might not like that. You do not want to submerge this underwater. So we're just gonna take a damp rag in this toothbrush and we're gonna clean it on up. You can see how much this is coming off. And I know, it's gross. And it comes out super easy. I'm not hardly rubbing at all. And it is almost all clean. And then we're just gonna flip this over and clean the inside on the bottom as well. And then that's it. You just let it completely dry before you use it. So like you typically will probably wanna let it dry overnight before you use it the next day. And it's all clean and ready to go again. If you haven't watched it yet, this is a link to the video I had last week, my top five air fryer must-haves. Till next time, like and subscribe.